So you're going to want to start by taking the back buckle, snapping it into place, and making sure that it's really nice and tight and snug high above your hips. So this is my natural waistline. My hips end right about here. That's where you want your strap to be adjusted and fitted to. If you do it any lower, you're going to probably experience some hip pain um, or kind of pressure that's just not enjoyable. <laughs> so you're then going to move the carrier to the front, your front panel, and you're going to take your right strap and you're going to connect it through the safety loop and to that left buckle. Then you're going to take your left arm, move it through, lift the strap over your head, and make sure that you have enough space in here for your baby to fit in there. So when you're putting your babe in, one leg's going to go through here, and one leg's going to go through here. So what I'm going to do is get my darling, so I'm taking the babe, Miss Dahlia here, and I'm going to get her through on this side first, and then I'm going to get her through on this side. I'm going to do a little jump there to make sure that she has that nice pelvic tuck. So you can see the strap's still a little loose. So what I'm going to do now that she's in is pull and tighten right there. And the last step is I'm going to take this remaining hanging strap, wrap it around, put it through the safety loop, and do my final buckle. Now, you might feel a little pressure on your hip right here. If you're feeling that, that means that you need to tighten your straps to lift your babe up. I'm going to tighten the strap, tighten the strap. I'm going to get her arm, because my daughter prefers to have her arms free. Make sure this is nice and tight. There we go. See how it is in the back? She's nice and comfy. Voila. <laughs> now you try.